Hello and welcome to the World of Minecraft, a 3D building block game with two different game modes, one for building and one for surviving. Today I will be using the endless resources of creative build mode to model geological fractures called faults. Before this video can progress, we must learn exactly what a fault is. The United States Geological Survey defines a fault as a break in the rocks that make up the Earth's crust, along which rocks on either side have moved past each other. Now bear in mind that not every crack in the ground is a fault, because what defines a fault is the type of movement that has occurred. Three different types of faults will be modeled throughout this video. These include normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults. Bearing movements of these brutal deformations will be represented and clearly shown through this six-layer slab of earth that I have created. These layers will help show which direction the fault has moved the earth. On the right side of the red line that I have drawn to the slab of earth is the foot wall. It is called the foot wall because, as you can see, the feet of this character are on it. The other wall, to the left of the red line, is called the hanging wall. The hanging wall rests on the foot wall, and the red line that has been drawn through the slab of earth is called a dip-slip surface. All of these terms are going to be important in the upcoming instructional part of this video. First, let's begin with a normal fault. A normal fault is a result of tensional stress. Now with a normal fault, the hanging wall will move downward relative to the foot wall. Now watch as this slab of earth transforms due to tensional stress. Here is the result of tensional stress along the dip-slip surface. As you can see, a normal fault is produced because the hanging wall has moved downwards relative to the foot wall. You can see that the layers of earth have shifted downwards instead of up. What we will be looking at is called a reverse fault. As the name implies, it is the exact opposite of a normal fault. A reverse fault is the result of compressional stress, causing the hanging wall to move upward relative to the foot wall. And here is the result of compressional stress on a dip-slip surface. As you can see, the hanging wall has moved upward relative to the foot wall. This type of fault is called a strike-slip fault, and is the result of sheer stress. There are two different types of strike-slip faults. One can be classified as left lateral, and the other right lateral. The difference between these two is just the direction that the earth has moved. And here is an example of a right lateral strike slip fault. As you can see, the fence has moved to the right, which means that the whole slab of earth has moved to the right. This is a result of a left lateral strike slip fault. As you can see, the fence and earth have moved to the left. So today in Minecraft, you have learned all about three different types of faults. You learned about normal faults, reverse faults, and strike slip faults. And until next time, see you later.